previous videos examine output tracking for the scrubber duct inlet temperature controller and the hot air temperature controller. This video examines output tracking for the hot air pressure controller and the backhouse inlet temperature controller. Most applications use a fixed relationship between the damper that is on local and the controller that is tracking. A fixed relationship could be used for the off-gas process, but another approach offers advantages. The alternative is possible because the hot air pressure can be controlled using either hot air damper. If only one of the hot air dampers is on local, then the hot air pressure can be controlled using the other damper. To do this, the bag house and the temperature controller must be tracking if either hot air damper is on local. The logic for when to track is as follows. Bag house inlet temperature controller. Tracking is active if either or both of the hot air dampers is on local. Hot air pressure controller. Tracking is active if both hot air dampers are on local. This arrangement retains hot air pressure control preferentially to backhouse inlet temperature control. Since the characterization function for the ratio controls is strongly influenced by the hot air pressure, we will use this configuration for tracking. The output of the hot air pressure controller is the arithmetic average of the opening of the two hot gas dampers. When this controller is tracking, the analog value for output tracking must be the arithmetic average of the current openings of the two dampers. The output of the bag house inlet temperature controller is the difference in openings of the two dampers. When this controller is tracking, the analog value for output tracking must be the difference of the current openings of the two dampers. To illustrate the effect of tracking, switch the hot air damper to bag house inlet to local. The mode of the backhouse inlet temperature controller is displayed as AUT star, so tracking is active. The mode of the hot air pressure controller is auto, so this loop is functioning. Change the opening of the hot air damper to backhouse inlet from 64.4% to 70%. To maintain the same arithmetic average, the opening of the hot air damper to scrub a duct inlet changes by the same amount, but in the opposite direction. Dampers are not linear, so the net effect of these two changes on the hot air pressure is not zero. The hot air pressure controller responds so as to maintain the hot air pressure at 2.5 millimeters of mercury. To maintain the hot air pressure at 2.5 millimeters of mercury, the opening of the hot air damper to scrub a duct inlet changes to 39.3%. The difference in damper openings is 30.7%. The tracking logic forces the output of the backhouse inlet temperature controller to 30.7%. The backhouse inlet temperature has risen to 71.3 degrees. As the set point is 70 degrees Celsius, this controller would normally be decreasing its output. But when tracking is active in the backhouse inlet temperature controller, the output remains at 30.7%. To demonstrate that the transition back to automatic control is bumpless, switch the hot air damper to backhouse inlet to remote. The transition is smooth and the backhouse inlet temperature controller quickly restores the temperature to 70 degrees Celsius. Switch the hot air damper to scrub a duct inlet to local. The mode of the backhouse inlet temperature controller is indicated as AUT star, so tracking is active. The mode of the hot air pressure controller 
It's auto, so this loop is functioning. Change the opening of the hot air damper to scrub duct inlet to 50%. The hot air pressure controller responds very rapidly and restores the hot air pressure to 2.5 millimeters of mercury. However, the backhouse inlet temperature is not being controlled, so it drops to 68 degrees Celsius. To show that the transition back to automatic control is bumpless, switch the stamper back to remote. The backhouse inlet temperature controller takes the necessary control actions to restore the temperature to 70 degrees Celsius. This controller is aggressively tuned but the transition is smooth. Finally, let's illustrate the effect of switching both hot air dampers to local. The order in which they are switched to local is immaterial, so, so just do it. Now the modes of the hot air pressure controller and the back house inlet temperature controller are AUT star, meaning that both are tracking. The desire to preferentially retain control of one variable over another is not unique to the off-gas process. In most double-end composition control applications in distillation, one composition pertains to a saleable product. The other composition relates in some manner to the operational efficiency of the column. The preference is to maintain control of the composition pertaining to the saleable product. The next video will examine integral tracking.